Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as I said in the last video, today is photo shoot day. Uh, so we need to wash the Aston and then get out of here so we can catch some uh, cool sunset lighting, some golden hour lighting to take some awesome photos uh, so we can list the Aston. Let's go. detailed and we are taking off to meet with the photographer to take some professional shots of the car so we can list it. Uh, this is something that I have done in the past and if you are a car enthusiast, um, I suggest you do this at least once or twice in your life. Uh, get your car photographed by a professional photographer. First off, you see your car in a way that you've never seen it before. Uh, and two, it's honestly a fun event. Usually these guys are huge car enthusiasts themselves. They know the cars, they take some banging shots, um, and seriously, it's, it's just a fun event. I suggest you do it if you've never done it. Um, in fact, let's go get my photographer uh, and I'll tell you about him and, and you can check it out yourself. So guys, uh, not did, only did one of them come out, but Chris bought his buddy Tyler out. Uh, I'm gonna link Chris's Instagram uh, down below. If you're not following him, I suggest you do. Uh, he does everything from real estate photography to auto photography, and uh, the dude shoots some serious, seriously good photos. Some super creative photos, especially at night. Uh, in fact, when the McLaren gets back, uh, you may want to pay attention to his page. Now, I will say he does have me out here in the middle of nowhere, uh, but the road is closed, so we don't have to worry about any cross traffic. <laughs> guys I've seen some of these unedited just on his camera uh, and they're amazing shots uh, I seriously suggest uh, especially if you're up in Northern California Sacramento area reach out to Chris and have your car done uh, you will be amazed it, 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 it honestly it's a blast you just have a lot of fun uh, and as a car enthusiast seeing your car uh, with that type of professional photography it's, it's, it's pretty sick but we are gonna head to one more spot uh, before we call it a day um, and then I'll let you guys enjoy uh, all the images that we just shot at the end of this video. So guys, we're at the final spot uh, and it's crazy because I actually walked my dog uh, down the way and I would have never thought of shooting a car here. Uh, and Chris has got us over a railroad track uh, in what looks to be an amazing shot. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So uh, by the time you see this, uh, the listing for the Aston should be live on Auto Trader. I'm gonna do Auto Trader listed traditionally for about three to four weeks. If I don't get any bites on the listing, I will probably put it onto an auction site, whether that's Bring a Trailer or Cars and Bids, I'm still not decided on. Uh, but I've been trying to figure out what the comp is for it or what a comp is for the DB9. Now mine is a 2008 DB9 Coupe. There are no 2008s for sale currently in the United States. In fact, there's no 2007s currently for sale in the United States. There's one 2006 uh, and four 2009s. 
Uh, they range anywhere from about 60000 to 79000 uh, so my car, I don't think is valued at the high end. Uh, so I don't think I could push that limit too far. Uh, you know, if I put it for 70, somebody can buy a 2009 for the low 70s. I'm not sure they do it. Uh, but I also don't think it's worth 60, which is what a 2006 is. Uh, so I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle. I'm going to list this at 65. I think that's a good number. I think that's probably a number I can get, uh, but we shall see. Uh, anyway, it was, will be live when you guys watch this video. And again, this video is really about getting your car professionally photographed. Uh, I suggest you guys do it, even if you're not going to sell your car. It is extremely cool seeing your car uh, through the lens of a professional photographer. It, it's, it, it's, it's pretty dope. I honestly, I've always liked the way the Aston Martin looked, um, but uh, these pictures made it look incredible. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.